Hey TV fans, today let's talk about an old TV show that many people loved. Remember the one with the cute dog? Well, there's more to it than just adorable animals and fun adventures. Before you switch channels, stick around. We've got some interesting stories to share some funny, some surprising, and even a little sad. Sound intriguing? You bet. Here's a question for you. Do you have any favorite memories from watching this show? Maybe there's a scene that you still remember. We want to hear your stories, so drop them in the comments below. So, get ready to hit play and take a trip down memory lane. We've got some cool behind the scenes stuff and facts to share, not just about the amazing things the dog did. Now it's your turn to share your best memories or experiences with us in the comments. We're all ears. That's it for now. Keep those memories alive and keep the comments coming. See you next time, TV fans. As a kid in the Midwest, Sundays were always special. There was this show that I loved watching with stories that stuck with me even now. The characters felt like part of my own family from the boy and his strong connection with his dog to the wise but grumpy grandpa who reminded me of my own granddad. The mom on the show was so loving just like mine. Even though some of the actors are not with us anymore, their performances on screen are timeless. But beyond just being a show about a boy and his dog, it showed a lifestyle that many of us didn't have. Not everyone lived on farms like they did in the show or had grandparents around all the time. It painted a picture of a life that a lot of people dreamed about but didn't have. Looking back, that show wasn't just entertainment, it was a peek into a simpler world where values like love and loyalty mattered most. And even today, those messages still resonate. In the show, June Lockhart replaced Cloris Leachman as Ruth Martin due to Leachman's dissatisfaction with her role. Tommy Reddig won the role of Lassie's young master reportedly after Lassie herself showed affection towards him during auditions. Initially, the show starred the Miller family, with Reddick as Jeff, Jan Clayton as his mother Ellen, and George Cleveland as Gramps. The first two seasons won Emmy Awards for Best Primetime Children's Show. Reddick left due to age, replaced by Timmy and his adoptive parents, the Martins. The show's quality declined with the new cast and producers, except for a few acclaimed Christmas episodes. Lassie, portrayed by Pal Jr., son of Pal, was pivotal in the show's success alongside owner and trainer Rudd Weatherwax and his dogs. In 2009, a series of commemorative postage stamps were issued by the U.S. Postal Service, celebrating classic television programs. One of these stamps featured a beloved TV show known for its canine star. On that stamp, you find a picture of the four-legged hero. The story behind this show began when Tommy Reddick, during the making of a movie called The 5,000 Fingers of Dr. T in 1953, met dog trainer Frank Weatherwax. Intrigued by their encounter, Weatherwax's brother Rudd acquired the rights for an upcoming TV series. To find the perfect fit for the role of Jeff, Tommy, along with two other child actors, spent a week at the Weatherwax Ranch with three collies vying for the lead. Tommy emerged as the chosen one, securing the contract at two $500 a week. The collie that played the main character for the longest time was named Baby. A descendant of the original Lassie, Pal, Baby served in the role for six years until his sudden passing at the age of eight. Notably, Baby stands as the only dog from the series not to reach the age of 17. These bits of history, from the stamp recognition to the casting process and the long career of the leading collie, highlight the significance of the show in early television. In the early years of American TV, a groundbreaking show stood out by sticking to its original time and day every week during its entire run on AS Network. This was a big deal, showing how much people loved the show. Eventually, it continued airing in reruns for the last three years. During a memorable return to the series, the famous comedian Andy Clyde gave his last performance, playing the character Ben Adams again after his regular role as Cully Wilson. This marked the end of a special time in the show's history as Clyde said goodbye to the character he played. There were some tough times behind the scenes too. Actress Cloris Leachman had a difficult personal moment. While she was four months pregnant, she had a miscarriage while filming the show. This sad moment added a real life layer to the show's story. In TV history, Lassie stands out because of its long lasting popularity and influence, not just because of the plot twists, but also because of the personal stories of the people who made it. These moments, from the regular schedule to the last performances of respected actors, contribute to the rich history of this special series. The iconic whistle theme linked with the show's opening and closing credits was introduced in season five, while the first four seasons featured a traditional orchestral theme. John Provost departed the series after seven seasons due to his reluctance to continue portraying Timmy. 
His exit led to the dismissal of the remaining human cast, amid speculation that either Provost or new lead Robert Bray demanded excessive compensation. Mad Magazine parodied the series as Lizzie. Cloris Leachman's discontent with her role in the series led to frequent clashes with the cast and crew. Eventually, at the end of the season, both Leachman and John Shepard were dismissed and replaced by June Lockhart and Hugh Riley. Robert Bray, facing struggles with alcoholism, departed the show after four seasons. To shield Bray, an official statement claimed he was weary of his role. Following his exit, Bray never returned to acting. June Lockhart, best known for her role as Maureen Robinson in Lost in Space and as Timmy's mother on the series, took over the part after the cast reshuffle. During the run of the season starring John Provost, the earlier episodes featuring Tommy Reddig were syndicated to daytime TV under the titles Jeff's Collie. Similarly, when Provost left the series, his shows were syndicated as Timmy and Lassie. Jan Clayton is best known for her role as Tommy Reddig's mother, Ellen Miller, in the early installments of the popular TV series. In 2017, J.R. Gabriel, a poet and writer, reached out to John Provost to thank him for his contribution to the show. Provost responded with his own appreciation for J.R. Gabriel's work. In the realm of classic television, transitions, farewells, and memorable performances shaped the landscape of beloved shows. In one such instance, a young actor stepped into a significant role, a cherished animal actor bid farewell, and a talented actress left a lasting impact. The evolution of characters, both human and canine, and the dedication of those behind the scenes contribute to the enduring legacy of these timeless productions. In the early days of television, a promising young actor found himself thrust into the spotlight when he assumed a key role in a popular series. This shift came about when another actor declined the opportunity, paving the way for a new face to take center stage. Alongside him, a beloved canine companion whose final appearance marked the end of an era, leaving behind a memorable presence that remains etched in the hearts of viewers. Amidst these changes, an actress of remarkable talent made her mark on the show, portraying a character whose warmth and strength resonated with audiences. Her versatility in bringing characters to life captivated viewers, solidifying her as a cornerstone of the series' success. Through the trials and triumphs of its characters, both human and animal, the show continues to captivate audiences, reminding us of the enduring magic of classic television. In the series, June Lockhart portrayed the mother, and she also played the adult version of Elizabeth Taylor's character from Lassie Come Home and the Son of Lassie. After three seasons, Tommy Reddick, who played the lead role, wanted to leave the show as he was 15 and didn't want to continue playing a child's role. At the same time, Jan Clayton, another main cast member, desired to return to musical theater. To start a gradual transition, the character Timmy was introduced. However, when George Cleveland, who played Gramps, passed away unexpectedly, the transition to a new cast was accelerated. Rudd Weatherwax owned and trained Lassie, who reportedly lived to be 19 years old. For years, a beloved TV series gripped audiences around the globe with its heartwarming tales. Surprisingly, the main character never fell into the cliché of rescuing someone from a well, a trope often linked with the series. Instead, the character named after the producer's mother managed to avoid such predicaments, adding a unique twist to the narrative. One interesting break in the show's regular schedule in the USA was the annual airing of a classic movie on CBS. This movie, a favorite among viewers, temporarily replaced the show on Sunday evenings. This scheduling quirk, lasting from 1959 to 1967, highlighted the enduring popularity of the movie, demonstrating its ability to overshadow even beloved TV programs. Despite these interruptions, the adventures of the show's protagonist continued to captivate audiences, solidifying their status as a timeless TV favorite. Whether facing the elements or helping those in need, the characters' unwavering loyalty and bravery won the hearts of viewers of all ages, securing their place in television history. Did you know that in the show where a smart and loyal dog goes on adventures, the dog actor was actually male? They picked male dogs because female collies shed more hair, especially during certain times, which could have been a problem for filming. Also, the male dogs were bigger, which looked better on screen. So, every time you saw that famous dog on TV, it was actually a boy dog playing the role. Did you know that back in 1954, a popular TV series featured a remarkable canine companion? During the filming, there was a tragic incident involving one of the dogs cast in the show. Despite being trained and well cared for, one of them suffered a fatal accident on set, leaving the cast and crew devastated. This event serves as a reminder of the risks involved in working with animals in the entertainment industry, even under the best conditions. 
The TV series was more than just a simple show about a loyal dog. It explored various themes like family dynamics, friendship, and the bond between humans and animals. Each episode presented heartwarming stories that resonated with audiences of all ages, making it a timeless classic. The character, portrayed by several talented canine actors, became an enduring symbol of loyalty and bravery. The show showcased the intelligence and empathy of dogs, highlighting their ability to understand human emotions and communicate without words. Throughout its run, the series garnered widespread acclaim and numerous awards, solidifying its place in television history. Its influence went beyond its time, leaving a lasting impression on popular culture and inspiring future generations of filmmakers and storytellers. Despite the passage of time, the impact of the show continues to captivate audiences worldwide, reminding us of the strong bond between humans and their furry friends. It remains a testament to the power of storytelling and the universal appeal of tales about love, loyalty, and friendship. In a surprising twist, the original dog who played the main character in a famous 1954 TV series unexpectedly died during filming of its second season. This caught everyone off guard, but the team behind the show acted quickly to find a new dog to take on the role. They managed to find a suitable replacement and smoothly integrated the new member into the cast, keeping the show going without any major interruptions. Despite the setback, the team's dedication and resilience ensured that the TV series continued to charm audiences with its heartwarming stories of loyalty and bravery. It left a lasting impact on television history, showcasing the importance of perseverance and teamwork in the face of unexpected challenges. During the filming of the 1954 TV series, a tragic event occurred when a stunt dog portraying Lassie was fatally injured while performing a dangerous scene. The accident led to increased safety measures for animal actors in Hollywood productions. Despite the precautions, the loss of the beloved canine performer deeply saddened the cast and crew, highlighting the risks involved in creating entertainment. This incident served as a reminder of the importance of animal welfare in the entertainment industry and prompted discussions about improving safety standards for all animals involved in film and television productions. In a surprising twist, an interesting fact about a TV series from 1954 involves a sad accident during filming. While shooting an episode, a stunt went wrong, and one of the actors got hurt, needing to stay in the hospital for weeks. This TV series, not just about a faithful dog, touched on deep emotions and showed how people and animals connect, touching the hearts of many. Despite the show's heartwarming moments, it also dealt with tough subjects like sadness, being left alone, and not giving up. It added depth and realism to the story, making it more relatable. As the series went on, it kept viewers hooked with its captivating stories and unforgettable characters. It became a beloved classic in TV history. Even though it's been a while since it aired, this TV series from 1954 is still cherished today, reminding us of the strong bonds of friendship, loyalty, and love.